Good morning, my students. Our lesson in algebra today is finding the approximated value of a rational number. The irrational number is represented by infinite number of decimal, not recurring decimal. Okay? For example, we can deduce an approximated value of a rational number, square root 5, as the form. Square root 5 is more than square root 4 and less than square root 9. Why? Let us try the perfect square numbers, which are 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, and so on. 5 lies between 4 and 9. 5 lies between 4 and 9. Then root 5 between root 4 and root 9. That means root 5 more than 2 and less than 3. The value of root 5 lies between 2 and 3. That means it's approximately equal to 2 plus decimal less than 1. What is the meaning of 2 plus decimal less than 1? That means 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, .2, and so on, up to 2.9. Now, search for the values of 2.1 squared, 2.2 squared, and 2.3 squared. The first one, 2.1 squared equal 4.41. 2.2 squared equal 4.84. 2.3 squared equal 5.25. Then, 5 lies between... 4.84 and 5.29. By taking square root for all numbers, then root 5 more than root 4.84 and less than root 5.29. Then root 5 is more than 2.2 and 2.3. We can say that 2.2 and 2.3 are approximated values of root 5. Thus, we can get more accurate values by trying 2.21, 2.22, 2.23, and so on. For example, prove that square root 3 lies between 1.7 and 1.8. We have to cancel the root sign by giving power 2 for each value. Root 3 power 2 equal root 3 times root 3 equal 3. 1.7 power 2, 2.89. 1.8 power 2, 3.24. We use the given values. Then 3 lies between 2.89 and 3.24, but we ask for root 3. Take root for all values. Square root 3 more than square root 2.89 and less than square root of 3.24. Then square root 3 as it is, is more than root 2.89, which is 1.7, and less than square root 3.24, which is 1.8. Then root 3 lies between 1.7 and 1.8. Another example, find the value of x in each of the following if x belongs to z. x belongs to z means x is an entry. The first one, square root 80, more than x and less than x plus 1. Square root, we have to write the perfect square numbers. Let us write it. 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, and 100. We ask for root 80. 80 lies between 64 and 81. Then 
square root 80 is more than square root 64 and less than square root 81. Square root 64 is 8, square root 81 is 9, stand square root 80 as this. Well, square root 80 more than 8 and less than 9. Then x equal 8. The second one, cube root 5 more than x and less than x plus 1. Now, we have to write the perfect cube numbers. Why perfect cube? Because we use cube root of 5. Let us write it. 1, the perfect, perfect cube numbers. 1, 8, 27, 64, and so on. Cube root 5. Ask for 5. 5 lies between 1 and 8. Then cube root 5 more than cube root 1 and less than cube root 8. Then cube root 5, cube root 1 is 1, cube root 8 is 2. Cube root 5 more than 1, more than one and less than 2, then x equal 1. Okay? Now, representing the irrational number on the number line. Each irrational number can be represented by a point on a number line. Just one point for any rational or irrational. One point represents it. Okay? If we draw right angled triangle ABC, at B, in which AB equal 2 length units and AC 3 length length units. We can get by Pythagoras theorem the length of the third side BC. Then BC square equal AC square minus AB square equal 9 minus 4 equal 5. Then BC equal square root 5 length units. How it comes? Repeat it again. To get, to get the length of sight with the square root length, now we use Pythagoras theorem. That means we need to draw a right angled triangle. The side length of this triangle is 2 cm and the hypotenuse is 3 cm. Hypotenuse length is 3 cm and the right angle side 2 cm, we can get the third side by Pythagoras theorem, square root 3 square minus 2 square, equal root 5. Then the length of BC represents the value of root 5. We can copy this length on the number line from 0 to get the value of root 5 for right side or negative root 5 on the left side. Start from zero, copy this lens here by using compass or ruler to get the point represent root five or on left side represent negative root five. Okay? How to define the values of the side and the hypotenuse for any root? For example, Determine the point which represents the number square root 3 on the number line. Now we have 3 in the root. The length of one of two sides of right angle to triangle equal take this number minus 1 over 2. In our example, 3 minus 1 over 2, we need one length unit. How to get the hypotenuse? Take the number plus 1 over 2. 3 plus 1 over 2 equals 2 length unit. We need to draw right angle the triangle with side length 1 cm and hypotenuse length 2 cm. We can draw it direct on the number line by using the scale of ruler. Okay? Use ruler to draw number line 
0, 1, 2, 3, this is the positive direction, negative 1, negative 2, and so on. That is the negative direction. Stop at 0 and draw one length unit. Okay? At the end of this side, open your compass, open your compass by the lens, 2 cm. Stop at the end and draw arc to cut the number 9 at the point which represents square root 3. Okay? Evaluation, stop this video and try to solve it by yourself. Now, determine the point which represents the number square root 7 or number line. The first, we have to define the two sides of the right angled triangle. Side of right angle. Take the number minus 1 divided by 2. 7 minus 1 over 2 equal 3 units. Okay? How to define the hypotenuse? Hypotenuse equal Take the number plus 1 divided by 2. 7 plus 1 divided by 2 equal 4 units. We can use the ruler, scale of ruler. Each unit is 1 centimeter. It's okay. Let us draw. Use the ruler. Draw the number line. Zero, one, two, three, four, and so on. Negative one, negative two, and so on. Stop at zero and draw side of right angle with three unit lips. Stop at zero, one unit, two, three. With open equal four units from the same length unit I use in number line. I already opened my compass with four units. Stop at the end of this side and draw the arc. And draw the arc to cut the point the, the number line. This is 3 cm and this 4 cm. We get the point which is represent root 7. Okay? Our homework today solve the question 2, 4, and 5, page 15 in book. Thank you. See you next video.